How awesome would it be to get invited by a race team to King of Hammers 2023 and be allowed to participate with the crew and get behind the scenes coverage, be able to film whatever I wanted. This was a dream trip. My name is Stanley King. You found the Stanley King channel. I'm an avid off-roader. I ride dirt bikes all the time. I love to do the races. I've never been able to participate in off-road racing like this. I've gone a few times down to Baja. I knew about the King of Hammers. It's just outside Barstow, California. When these guys said, come on out, my buddy Todd Miller, who's one of their co-pilots. The dust would be like from here to the mountain. Okay. That was him right there. He said, come on out and join us. I just couldn't wait. What? Got some issues here. I saw was just unbelievable. These are what are called hammer trucks. And this is some of the most unhospitable, just unrelenting ground on earth. Looking at these vehicles track through this, it's high speed desert racing, it's low speed rock racing, it's winching, it's cabling, it's, this is stuff that would put a body in the full carpal tunnel. Unbelievable. I'm guessing a lot of these guys have their 800 number speed dial for their chiropractor. What a bunch of tough guys, what a bunch of great racing, incredible times out here. So the Goodall family had multiple drivers out on the track. Ken, the dad, Logan, the son, and also their buddy Dave. And again, my buddy Todd Miller is one of their co-pilots and mechanics. It was just incredible to watch these guys. They have pretty much an all-volunteer crew of people to help them out. People who have normal jobs, they just have a passion for racing. There must have been 25 people who came out to participate and help. That's Todd right there in front of the car. His car broke down. Cameron Steele's car broke down right there. The two of them helped even though they weren't racing anymore. It was amazing. That was the thing I didn't expect with this hammer racing. I thought maybe these were all professional teams, but that's not the case at all. Most of these guys are out there spending a lot of their own money. They might have some sponsors, but they're just doing this because they're passionate about it. Look at this terrain they're going through. These are giant rocks. A lot of those, when you look at the rock next to the car, some of them are three feet tall, six feet tall, 10 feet tall. I mean, I saw these guys dropping off shelves that were sometimes 10 feet. Any normal car would just fall to pieces. I saw tires snap off cars, axles. Watch this car go by right here. Look at this. This guy's tires off the back right, and he just keeps moving. But the thing is, even if your car breaks down, you just keep going. This is called Chocolate Thunder here. Man, the fans were deep. People are just so passionate about off-roading. It's wild. That car just flipped over right there. That was pretty nutty. But look at out there in the distance, it's got good. cops on dirt bikes and just wild the, the amount of love people have for this sport. 80,000 people set up in Hammertown. This race is like, honestly, it's kind of like uh, Burning Man for off-roaders. I couldn't believe it. They had streets laid out. They had the track laid out. They had signs. They had vendors. 80 thousand people this is somewhere where there's normally nothing going on in the desert besides just some weekend warriors but to have a complete city set up for this for two weeks wow i just can't even imagine all right well i'm gonna let you watch this this is uh this is logan here taking off and doing his race pretty wild that's Logan right there. That guy's only 22 years old. That's Todd right there. Look at these trucks. They just, man, the abuse that they take, the tires that are on them. I just, I just don't understand how you can take a vehicle and put it through that much pounding. But they do. 
get this racing and you think no big deal these guys off they go man there's so much prep that goes into these trucks there's so much repair that needs to be done so many broken parts so many people who have to put the effort together and to watch these guys at the start of the race they know within two minutes it could be over or five and every one of these guys i always hear them say to finish first first you have to finish Look at these good all guys go. That's the dad there in the back. And all right, this is Logan and Todd taking off for the race. I'm going to let you watch this for a couple minutes. Imagine this ripping through the dust like that I mean these are legit guys when you have a helicopter chasing your car that's big time no doubt and these guys are just hauling the mail across the desert floor and what you see here this is the high-speed desert part just going through dust like that and then tragedy water pump blew up on the truck we're done can you imagine And they got to do the old drive of shame all the way back to the pits, eight miles an hour. That's rough. The race keeps going on though. Nobody else stops. The dad Ken kept pushing on. That's him right there ripping. And I, again, I couldn't believe this racetrack. Some of it was nice and sandy and looked like fun. Nope, a lot of rocks. A couple hundred mile race, probably 90 miles of it was through super tough terrain and these guys in the pits are out in the middle of nowhere waiting and waiting and you know they're they they have to be there they're they're invaluable oh, uh, well, i was at the tent the other night and uh, i was looking at my mini box and i was playing with it it didn't do a flash and the picture was like i could see all through the mini box at night was like, you just can't teach an accent like that yeah these guys they got everybody going and I just, I met so many interesting people out there in the desert from all over the United States and Canada. It was amazing. I mean, some really interesting folks. These guys are obviously master mechanics. They can do anything. Pretty wild. You know, and then to see the fans too. Look at this. This is part of the 80,000 and, ah, oh, it's crazy. Well, here's finish of the race. Ken coming in. Pretty cool, you know, to see this truck thing how much it got beat up Ken really put in a lot of effort he's putting in a lot of money a lot of time but obviously this is his passion so he loves it so one truck across and one truck didn't make it 
But you know, that's racing. So look at he's up on he's got a flat front left there. Just wild. Well, we got one across the line today. Yeah. Still a little bit of drama, but the finish is huge. Well, good old family. Thank you so much for such a great time. Thanks for having me out. Thanks for all the great racing. Todd, Amy, thank you so much for your hospitality. Can't wait until next year. King of Hammers 2024. Wow, this is definitely a must-see bucket list race. See you out on the trail, guys.